there are seven celestial objects visible to the naked eye viewed from the earth these are sun mercury venus moon mars jupiter and saturn in the natural order of occurrence starting from the sun it is based on these celestial objects that a period of time called week consisting of seven days is defined obviously these seven days would be named after these seven planets in most cultures of the world all these planets are associated with the deity each and the day of the week is called after the deity representing the planet on the day however only in tamil culture these planets are named logically based on their physical attributes and the days of the week are also so named universally the days of the week are not arranged as per the order of the occurrence of the planets but in the following order sun moon mars mercury jupiter venus and saturn why should the days of week arranged in this particular order there has not been any explanation with a logical reasoning so far there had only been some lame speculations which are blatantly wrong only the culture which developed astronomy and the calendar shall know the actual reason for the order of the days of the week tamils developed original astronomy and the calendar and tamil civilization is the primary civilization of the world should there be any doubt on this claim kindly watch the videos part 4 vishnu amazing facts on kukulkan the mayan god and the great ravana mystery solved the fact that tamils developed original calendar would be obvious from this video which establishes the logical reasoning behind the specific order of the days of the week in tamil culture too each planet is associated with a deity or deities in fact the saptagani concept of tamils owes to these seven celestial objects however days of week are called after the names of the planets in tamil whereas in most cultures they are called after the deities associated with each planet the ancient tamils knew so much of in depth information about these planets so that they could use such information in naming the planets all this ancient information had been rediscovered by the west only in recent times through the modern science i would first describe how each planet got its tamil name and the deities associated with each planet we shall then reason out how the order of the days of the week is arranged the tamil names of the planets are simply astonishing sun it provides light and energy which is responsible for all life in our universe the tamil root sul means heat or fire for instance the word sulli means firewood in tamil as sun provides heat it was originally called sul sol sur etc based on tamil root this sul deformed to sun as sound l deforms to n which is a common deformation even though sun is a word of tamil origin and is based on the physical attribute of sun it is called nayiru in tamil on philosophical basis jnana means wisdom or enlightenment nayiru means endowed with wisdom the light it generates is seen by the tamil sages as a symbol of enlightenment its deity is vinayaka who is the embodiment of wisdom and his form represents all the ancient siddha who attained nirvana for further details kindly watch the video titled part 1 siddha phenomenon and color concept sun's female deity is called gangayamma one of the saptamada the goddess of the ganga river and its color attribute is transparency representing nirvana mercury it is the first planet from sun it is also named on philosophical ground as it is very near to and circling the sun the object representing enlightenment this planet is called after intelligence and hence was accordingly named in tamil as budan or arivan its deity is mathanki one of the saptamada and its color attribute is golden yellow venus it is a second planet from the sun and it is the brightest object next only to the moon in the night sky hence it was called velli in tamil meaning silver it shines like silver in the night sky and hence named velli in tamil its deity is called pachayamma which means the goddess of the greens and one of the saptamada moon the very name moon is also of tamil origin the tamil phrase moon ram pirai refers to the earliest visible phase of the moon after the no moon day observing this first crescent phase is considered auspicious for many cultures including tamils and arabs this first occurs on the third day after no moon day three is called in tamil as moonru and pirai in tamil means crescent moon ram pirai is called in arabic as hilal which is a tamil word and it means remover of darkness the first crescent called moon ram pirai in tamil even today gave moon its name even though this name is of tamil origin 
it should have evolved most probably in Anatolia or Babylon, the ancient settlements of Tamil from Kumari continent. However, Moon is called Tingal in the original Tamil land. This word originated from two words, Timmai plus Kal, Tim plus Kal, Tingal. Timmai means ball-like and Kal means stone. Tamils called it a stone ball and it was pronounced in Tamil as Tingal. This is an amazing observation by ancient Tamils. Why did they call it a stone ball? We know that moon does not have an atmosphere as its mass is not big enough to exert sufficient gravitational pull to keep the gases within it. For the same reason, it does not have a water too as the evaporating water would escape moon. As there is no water, there is no soil in moon, absolutely. It might have stone pebbles out of meteorite heads but it does not have soil at all. Hence, moon is just a ball of stone. The ancient Tamils knew it confidently and hence they called it as Thingal meaning stone ball appropriately. Isn't it surprising that ancient Tamils knew these facts without the help of even a telescope? The deity of moon is called Nilambihai, one of the Saptamada with the color attribute blue, Mars. Mars is called Sevai in Tamil. We know that this planet is of red color, hence ancient Tamils called it Sevai meaning red mouth. Its deities are Vishnu male, Lashmi female, and Lashmi is one of the Saptamada and attributed to red color. This planet is also called Angarahan after Vishnu, the male deity of the planet. Jupiter. It was called in Tamil by the name Vyaran. It has two words in it. Vyal means big in Tamil and Aran means deep or distant. Hence, Vyaran means big and distant and distant here means that it is very far from earth. Hence, Vyaran is appropriate Tamil name for Jupiter. Its deities are Brahma, male, and Saraswati, female. Saraswati is one of the Saptamada attributed to white color. Certain. Certain is called in Tamil in two different names. One of the names, Kari, means that it is a dull planet. Kari means black and hence this dull planet was called Kari in Tamil. Its other name, Sunny, is of an astonishing origin. We shall now see as to how this name evolved. The modern astronomy reveals that the disk of Saturn consists of millions of particles of dimension starting from as small as a micrometer and the largest being as big as a meter. The modern astronomy also reveals that these particles are nothing but water ice. These particles are circling the certain planet like moon goes around the earth. The billions of water particles which appear like a disk around Saturn are moving in a high speed circling Saturn. This was compared to the stream of water which was called Sunai in Tamil. The word Sunai deformed to Sunni and ultimately to Sunni. It is astonishing to know that the ancient Tamils could know so much of a planet which is near the end of our universe without any modern astronomical tools. The ancient Tamil astronomers were Siddha who could see beyond the horizon through their mind's eye. There is so much of proof for the same. For instance, God Murugan, the ancient Siddha, designed his whale weapon replicating the male sperm cell yet 10,000 years ago without the help of even a microscope. We have said that Saturn was called Kari, meaning black, and the deities associated with this planet are Isa, male, and Kali, female. Hence, we have established that all the Tamil names of the planets were meaningful names and these names are applied to the days of the week as well. Hence, in Tamil custom, the days of the week are not called after the deities of the planet but by their original names of reason. We shall now consider the real idea behind the order of the days of the week. Earth is home to the humans. The planets situated within the orbit of Earth around Sun are called inner planets. The planets situated outside the orbit of Earth are called outer planets. The ancient Tamils considered the inner planets to have more of feminine attribute and the outer planets to have more of masculine attributes. Hence, Mercury, Venus and Moon are of feminine attribute. Mars, Jupiter and Saturn are of masculine attribute. This original assignment even spread to the West and this is established by the phrase Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. We know that Mars is an outer masculine planet and Venus is an inner feminine planet. The meaning of the phrase is that men and women are basically different in mentality as though they are originating from different planets of different nature and both of them should understand this basic fact when they are wedded to form a family. This realization shall help them to tide over any problem that shall arise in the relationship. Coming back to our subject, as far as calendar is considered, the first object of importance is sun. It needs no explanation and hence the first day of week is called Nairu meaning sun in English. Even though it is an inner celestial object, it is treated neutral in Tamil custom for obvious reasons. The next immediate celestial object of importance is moon. As far as the calendar is considered, 
as this needs no explanation as everyone knows the significance of moon in calendar creation hence the second day of the week is called in tamil as thingal meaning monday in english the word thingal is recorded in old norse and old english as thungal meaning moon moon is attributed with the feminine qualities as a side track the word calendar is of tamil origin it is made of two words kalam and teri kalam means time in tamil and teri means no calendar means know the time the word kalam has a larger scope than just time of the day it shall mean a period year month day and the time of day kalam plus teri kalanderi kalander calendar we have seen that noir the sun is the first day of the week which is of neutral attribute and tingal or moon is the second day of the week which is of feminine attribute tamils arrange the order of the days as female male pairs hence the third day should be of masculine attribute forming the first pair but there are three planets which are of masculine attribute they chose the closest outer planet from the sun to represent the third day of the week the first of the outer planets is mars and the tamil name of mars is sevvai meaning red planet and this day is called in english as tuesday representing mars having assigned the masculine planet for the third day the next planet should be of feminine attribute there are two remaining planets of feminine attribute they are mercury and venus of these two the first planet from the sun is mercury and is chosen to represent the fourth day of the week mercury is called budhan or arivan in tamil and hence it is the fourth day of the week which is called in english as wednesday having assigned the feminine inner planet for the fourth day the fifth day should be of masculine attribute forming the second pair following the same logic jupiter should represent the fifth day as it is the very next outer planet after mars jupiter is called vyadan in tamil and hence vyadan is the fifth day of the week in tamil which is called thursday in english having assigned the masculine outer planet for the fifth day the sixth day should be of feminine attribute the only feminine and inner planet left out is venus and its name in tamil is velli and hence the sixth day of the week is called velli in tamil and is called friday in english having assigned feminine inner planet for the sixth day the seventh day should be of masculine attribute forming the third pair the only remaining masculine outer planet is saturn which is called in tamil as sani which is called in english as saturday saturn is the last planet as per ancient astronomy and it represents the last day of the week This is the proof that Tamils handled everything logically. Do you know that logic suffixes in most streams of study like ecology, gynecology, oncology, biology, ornithology, etc. is of Tamil origin and the very word logic is also of Tamil origin? Do you also know that nomi suffixes in studies like astronomy, economy, etc. is of Tamil origin? Await a film on it very soon.